What's up guys, my name is Jeremy and I am from Weld Tech Designs in beautiful Southern California. And today we are going to talk about this beauty behind me. This is a Ford Chinook. It is on an E350 chassis. There is a ton of stuff that you can do to improve the suspension and ride of these, gaining more ground clearance to getting you to your favorite camp spot destination. I hope you'll join me. This is gonna be a fun one and you're gonna learn a bunch. Let's go. Now we're gonna jump into this and you can see that there's definitely a lot more room in this wheel well to run a larger tire if you want to do it. Going with a larger tire is that bigger footprint, more mass on the ground, which also is gonna help give you more traction and more stability. All is going to be a big plus when trying to improve the suspension. Another thing that we've done on this is the I-beams on here. We've completely gone through those. We've modified them in order to correct it for the new coil spring. This coil spring is going to have a higher spring rate on it, which is going to help reduce sway. Now it is a larger coil spring and is going to give you lift as well, which is a big plus. Back to those I-beams though, guys. Those I-beams are gonna have new bushings in them as well. And that's a big thing because most of those have play or slop in them, which makes it really hard even to align this vehicle. And the next part of this, what we've done is we're replacing the radius arm bushings. The radius arm is the part that connects to your I-beam and runs parallel to your frame. You're going to get a new radius arm completely fabricated by Weld Tech Designs as well as a new bracket. Now we put new radius arms on it, we put new coil springs in it, we've replaced the I-beams and put new bushings in the I-beams as well. Now we take it a one step further on this I-beam situation. Most of these are in the 2008 and older years, which made the sway bar go directly into the I-beam. What you don't know is about a 90% chance that your I-beam sway bar bushing is completely shot. And it's not really a good setup. It was just something that was used for a long time. So in 2008, they changed that over. And even on a 2023 coach, you're gonna find that this is the new setup. So what we've done as well is we've upgraded the sway bar to the new style sway bar that you would find on a 2023 coach. And that's really important. We're getting all the latest and greatest at a very small cost of what you might pay to be doing all of these like aftermarket upgrades, heavy duty sway bars, all this stuff that you don't necessarily need. We just need to go through the suspension and dial it all in and make it right. And then you really get to have a lot of fun with this. Another big thing on this is going to be a Fox shock, which is a gas pressured shock on here. What's going to be really nice is the shock is also completely rebuildable. So you may never have to buy another shock again. You could just rebuild your shock as well. So a lot of small benefits in this kit, which are going to save those dollars in your wallet. The last thing we did on the front of this is we did add a steering stabilizer. Let's head around the front and check that out. So as we come to the front of this vehicle, you're gonna notice this Fox steering stabilizer nicely tucked in there. What that's going to do is it's going to reduce the amount of feedback that you get traveling through your wheels, through the tire rods, up the steering column into your hands. You've all hit that pothole really hard and it kind of wants to jerk the steering wheel out of your hands and make you you know, go towards that direction. Well, what this is gonna do is it's gonna reduce that. It's gonna absorb all of that energy when you hit that. And that's going to be a plus. On this particular Chinook, we also went a step further on there and added a front bumper. That's going to be really nice. You'll also notice that this top hoop that goes around it is slightly leaned forward. And the goal of that is if you were to hit a large animal, that it's going to push the animal down versus bringing it up and having it be your co-pilot. Some of us already have animals as co-pilots. We don't need another one. So what's nice about this bumper is it would allow you to add a winch later on if you want to do that. It's also going to come with some D-ring hooks on there so if you want to add shackles for recovery and another nice feature is lighting this does have mounting for two additional off-road lights as well as we've equipped it with some striker driving lights made by light force this is going to be a really nice addition to this chinook let's head to the back of it and talk about what we did 
So in the rear of this, there's going to be other issues that a lot of you have probably come across, like leaf springs that don't really ride very nice or leaf springs that sit flat. So what we've done on this is we've completely eliminated all of those things that don't work and kept it really simple. We put a whole new set of leaf springs that are going to be to the weight of what the vehicle is. Also allow you to add more weight to the vehicle if you're gonna add a back bumper and a lot more gear. You're not gonna have the rear sitting a lot lower which then points the front up in the air, which makes it even worse to drive. We've also done another set of the gas pressured Fox shocks in the rear in order to control that ride, which is going to be really nice. Overall, we've really put all new suspension underneath this whole vehicle, including the leaf springs are all going to have new bushings in them. We put new shackle perches and new shackles in there as well. So now all the moving components in the rear of the Chinook are all new. We did do another thing on this we did put some onboard air on this which is the ARB compressor it's going to give you the ability to lower your tire pressure this particular couple want to be able to go off grid they want to go have fun they want to go in the dirt they can lower their tire pressure down they have the ability to air them back up again as well as air up all those accessories like bike tires and paddle boards and whatever else that you could imagine that needs air now in order to control all that let's head inside all right, so in this unit, we've also put the Switch Pro panel. What's really nice about this panel is this is gonna have eight buttons on it in order to control eight different things. So we've started off, we've put the air compressor on there to be able to control that, as well as those new driving lights up on the front of it. It's gonna give you the ability to add six more options to that, which is really nice. And you're not gonna have to run additional wiring into the vehicle. Everything is very nice and neatly mounted underneath the hood. So if you wanna add another set of lights, you simply run the wiring to the Switch Pro panel located under the hood. All right, guys, so there it is. A ton of stuff that went into building out this Chinook. I hope that you found this informative. I hope that you learned something. And if you'd like more information, you can comment down below or email us and let us know what you would like to do. Smash that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you guys in the next video.